Hi, my name is Vinay Jusri from the Several Lines team. In this video, we will show you how to use the health report functionality in Cluster Control to identify configuration and performance problems in your cluster. This is the Cluster Control dashboard. We have here a Galera cluster with four nodes on Rackspace UK. Cluster Control uses a number of best practice advisors to create a health report for your cluster. These advisors automatically examine your node configurations and performance levels and identify any deviations from best practice rules that have been defined by our experts. In the health report, you will get information about caching queries, hit ratios you have in buffers, memory utilization in your MySQL servers. Here, we can see our four servers, how much RAM and system memory the servers have, how much max memory we have configured for each MySQL server to use, what is actually being used, and how much it has ever been using. The red light here shows that we configured a server with 2,248 meg, which is clearly more than what is available in the system. This is not good because if we run with a high load, the MySQL server will try to use too much RAM. The MySQL server will then start swapping or in the worst case, crash. In any case, your users will suffer. Also, we can see that global buffers, such as the InnoDB buffer pool, use the same amount of RAM across all MySQL servers, but Fredmax configured memory is sticking out. So what can we do about it? We have a configuration setting which is wrong, probably related to connections or per thread buffers. Let's go into show variables. This view here shows the discrepancies in variables between the MySQL servers in the cluster. Some variables will have different values like host names, but in other cases, you would like to have the same values across all MySQL servers. We scroll down and then we come down to max number of connections. All servers are using 201 connections, but the bad one is configured for 500 max connections. So we should obviously tune this and make a configuration change. However, before we do that, we should disable the server from HA proxy. Let's do that by going into the HA proxy page. Here we can select a particular server, click Disable and Apply. Then we can go back to our cluster control GUI and we can see that the server is dropping off. In the meantime, we can go in and do our configuration change, click on Config Management, edit the configuration file of the server, go down and locate Max Connections, change Max Connections to 201, save and then back to Overview. The configuration file is now being exported to the server and it's already done actually. Let's go back to config management. We will now see a restart button. We can click on it to restart the MySQL server. Proceed. The job will be submitted. We can go into job messages then to check progress. We are restarting the MySQL server. Now you can see the messages in the job and now it is done. Going back to the dashboard, we can see that all servers are green and the restarted server is synced. We can now go into health report. We can see there is no more red on that server, so that's great. Our configuration change was successful. Finally, let's not forget to go back to the Edge Proxy page and enable the MySQL server again. So using a load balancer like this is a great way to test your parameter settings before you actually bring back the server into production. This is it. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.